Yo, what up guys, Travic here. And today I wanna to talk about Project Diablo 2. If you haven't already known, Project Diablo 2 season 11 is starting on May 16th, which is this Friday. So if you're watching this in the future, it's already out. But Project Diablo 2 is coming out with controller support and WASD support, and it is absolutely smooth and wonderful. Alongside of that, it is going to have Steam Deck operations, and you can play Project Diablo 2 on your Steam Deck. Now, I personally don't own a Steam Deck. Eventually, one day, I will own a Steam Deck, but a good friend of mine, Symix, has spent some time putting together his first YouTube video and getting information out to you guys, and he sent it to me because he doesn't have his channel up, but he put together a whole compilation for you guys on how to do and set up your Steam Deck for Project Diablo 2. His information and channel will be linked down below, but for now, I'm going to kick it over to him and let him teach you how to install Project Diablo 2. Hey friends, Simex here. So recently I got a chance to beta test Project Diablo 2 Season 11, and in Season 11, WASDA and joystick support was added. Since I picked up my Steam Deck about a year ago, I've been gaming almost exclusively on the deck. So I thought I would try and put PD2 on the deck and give it a shot. Now I did take a little ride on the struggle bus trying to get this thing to run on the deck. It is pretty clear that the deck was not designed with the 25 year old games in mind. So I thought maybe I would make a little video going through how I eventually got this thing to run and maybe help someone else out along the way. If you're interested, stick around. I'll take you through step by step how I installed this from downloading to playing. You only need your deck and an internet connection. We'll not be using a Windows machine, a local network, or a USB drive for this process. Okay, first we are going to start our deck in desktop mode. And one thing to keep in mind is that we're going to be spending most of our time, time here in SteamOS desktop mode. It's gonna be helpful, but not necessary to have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. Uh, you'll also need to have valid copies of Diablo 2 and Lord of Destruction. This is the Classic Edition, not D2 Resurrected. If you don't have Classic Edition CD keys, you can go to the Blizzard website and buy them. They are $10 each. Okay, so let's get started. You will want to, in order to start this in desktop mode, the Steam button on the left side, and then pick Power. And then out of the Power menu, pick Switch to Desktop. Okay, now that we are at the Steam OS desktop, we are going to want to install Proton Tricks. Uh, before I get there, I'm going to turn on presenter mode just so this doesn't turn off for us. Okay, so in the bottom left, there's an application launcher. Think of this kind of like your start menu. We're going to search for Discover and we'll run Discover. This is kind of like your app store not quite an app store. It's actually called Flatpak. We are going to search for Proton Tricks. And we will install Proton Tricks. Anytime there's uh, we install something and it's going to take a minute, I'll just speed through it. Okay, Proton Tricks is installed. So the next thing we're gonna do is download Diablo 2 and Lord of Destruction. Now I have this open on the other screen. Let me just bring it over. Now I will put this URL on the screen and in the, des the description. Let's go ahead and download these. And while we're at it, we'll also download the PD2 installer. Okay, we're done there. Well, let's go ahead and get these things installed. We'll open up Delphin. And Delphin's our file explorer. And in our downloads directory, we should now have our downloaders and our PD2 installer. So let's go ahead and add our downloader for Diablo 2 to Steam. Right click on it. And this is, I think it's left trigger or L2 on the Steam Deck if you don't have a mouse. We'll add to Steam. And then we will go open up Steam. We're gonna stay in desktop mode. Go to library. We will just search for Diablo 
here's our downloader. It's a non-Steam game. Before we try and open this and run it, we'll go to Properties, Compatibility, Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, and then we're going to pick Proton 9. If you're watching this sometime in the future, there might be a Proton 10, 11, or 12 or something. Just pick one of them and pin the version. Don't use Experimental just because you never know what version you're actually getting out of Experimental. Just pick one that is a definite version. Okay, and then we'll close this. And then we will click Play to run the app. And that should start up our downloader. And we will pick a location. I'm going to put it in my downloads directory. Okay. And while this is going, I'm impatient, so I'm going to run both of them at the same time. We'll go to the LOD installer back in Dolphin. We'll right click on that and go to open with Proton Tricks launcher. And we will find the downloader non Steam shortcut for downloader Diablo 2. We'll run this one too. And I'm going to put this in my downloads too. And one thing to note here is that you will not want to run the installer that pops up immediately after downloading. Just close the installer and the downloader when it's done downloading. Okay, so we are going to speed through all of this and we'll be back when it's done. Okay. Now that we have everything downloaded, let's get these things installed. So we'll start up Dolphin. We'll go to our downloads directory. We'll find our D2 installer. Find installer.exe. And we'll right click on that and then add it to Steam. We'll open up Steam. Go to our library. And search for installer. Right click on installer, go to properties, and this comes up, compatibility, force compatibility, and we'll pick Proton 9. We'll close this, go to our installer, and give it a play. Now hopefully, this should start up and let us install. Okay, we'll install this, we'll pick where we want to put it. Okay. Complete. All right. Now let's install Lord of Destruction. Now, when we do this, we're actually just going to change the, the path on the target and where it starts in. I'm going to change this to LOD installer and where it starts in to uh, downloads LOD folder and then we will run it from here. This is so that it can detect the Diablo 2 installation. If you don't do this it comes up and says buy Diablo 2 instead of install is weird. Let's go ahead and install this one.
Okay. All right, we're installed. And since we're here, let's just go ahead and change this to, and we'll just make this installer the PD2 installer. We'll go back to downloads, PD2 installer. And this is just gonna run directly in the downloads folder. Okay. Okay, we can just install. And this will come up and say, oh, this takes a few minutes, but it doesn't, I promise. There'll be a little file or a little window that pops up in the background and asks you if you want to create an account. Uh, you don't. Well, I mean, maybe you do, but I don't need to. Okay, and this thing says something about a .NET error, and we're going to fix this, but we'll do it in a second. Okay, we're good here. Let's go back to Steam and we'll remove this. We're done with this installer. Okay, so let's go add Project Diablo Launcher. We will go back to Dolphin. We'll find where we installed this. I installed it in a games folder. You may have installed it somewhere different. And in your Diablo 2 folder, there's a project D2 and a PD2 launcher.exe. We'll right click on that and go add to Steam. And let's just search for that PD2. I'm going to rename this because this is actually going to be our actual launcher. And I'm going to close it while we're at it. Make sure that's saved. And we'll search for Diablo 2. Here it is. We'll go to Properties, and then Compatibility. We'll force Compatibility. We're going to pick Proton 9. And we'll try to play it, but we're going to get that .NET error again. It's important that we try to play it once. And I'll show you why in a second. We'll say, no, we don't want to install this. We don't need this. We'll just close it. And now what we want to do is open up Proton Tricks. And we can just go here, click on our application launcher, type Proton Tricks, and run Proton Tricks. And we'll look for that non-Steam shortcut. I named mine. So mine will say Project Diablo 2. If you did not rename yours, it'll say PD2 Launcher. So non-Steam shortcut Project Diablo 2. Click OK. This might take a second for this to load up. We're going to select the default line prefix. And we're going to install a Windows DLL or component. Then we'll click OK. And out of here, we're going to be looking for .NET. I think it's desktop 6. Want. It is .NET Desktop 6, and the display name of this is MS.NET Desktop Runtime 6.0 LTS. Click OK on that. 
it'll come up in try to install.net. It'll actually do it twice. So we'll run through it twice. Okay, install. Okay, we're done. Okay, install. Okay, we're done. And now we are done with Proton Tricks. We can close these things. And we should be able to play this. Looks good. It says, do we want to update? Yep, we can go ahead and update. Bam. Beautiful. All right, that's it. You should be all set. Head back to gaming mode by clicking the shortcut in the top left of the desktop. I don't expect there to be any more videos like this one, but I hope you found it useful. Simex out.